What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be designing and uh, making my own canards for my car. This is an idea I kind of just came up with while looking at my car and trying to figure out more things that I can do with it. And I've never seen anyone do anything like this, so I'm going to kind of design this with cardboard. And then probably eventually cut it out of this quarter inch ABS plastic I have here which I have a huge sheet of, but it matches all of the other arrow on my car. And I have a bunch of leftovers, so that's what I'm going to be using. But pretty much what the idea is, is I wanted to do canards on my car, or something to kind of break it up a little bit. But I didn't want to have to like drill holes in the bumper or anything in case I didn't like them, so I was kind of thinking what else I could do. And I thought about how there's like this overhang right here, and pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it to where the mounting point fits under here and then it'll kind of come out and probably wrap around like that so it'll kind of be something that'll go in here sort of like that but that's kind of what i thought of i don't know if it ends up looking good it'll be something i might consider making and selling and shipping out or it might turn out and be completely ugly and look tacky i don't really know so i'm going to go ahead and cut a template out of this cardboard and then see where to go from there so here is kind of the first thing I'm doing and kind of direction I am heading towards. It's just something like this that will go under there and you can see I'll just probably put some screw holes or just use double-sided tape and attach it up there like that. But I think I'm going to make this, if I see, if I stick that in there like that, that doesn't really flow all too well with the car and my splitter. So I think what I'm going to do is make it closer to the car and then this curve will come out more and then it'll curve here and kind of go longer onto the edge of the car. So I'm going to make another piece that goes onto this that'll kind of show that shape and then I'll test fit that and see if I like that. So here is kind of the final design I went with and ended up liking. So I went ahead and traced it out on the plastic and I'm going to cut it out with my Dremel just to get a rough cut of it and then kind of figure out how it fits with this material and then I'll kind of modify it from there and see if it is worth going on with and if I want to change the shape or design or anything like that. So I got the first piece cut out and this is what it looks like and then if I put it in there it actually fits really well. It fits just about perfectly. You can see there's a bit of a weird gap there but I think I'm going to leave it so it doesn't rub up against the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the other one there, which I just, all I did was flip this over and traced it, and then I'll cut out the other one, and then I will decide how I want to install them and then put them on, and we'll see what they look like when they are both on the car, and then I'll kind of judge from there if this is something that I want to keep or not, and I also posted about it to see if other people are interested in it, and if they are, I will probably make them and sell them. But I'm going to go ahead and get the other one made and then get them installed and then we can see what they look like. So I have the first version of them installed. And to be honest, I don't really like it. It's kind of a weird shape. You can see they're actually, they're both attached with just one self-tapping screw. And they are pretty solid, like it doesn't really move that much. So I think that's enough to hold it on but I just, I don't really like this shape. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another one where this part here is skinnier all the way along here. And then this part here will go out longer, probably to about, I mean, I could even go all the way this far, but probably to around here. And then this bump right here will kind of be moved to where this light is. So the bump will kind of go here and then it'll go out to where the fog light is and then go back in and then go a little bit farther here because the bump here doesn't really go with anything on the bumper so it just doesn't really look all that great. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I might just cut this one here and then kind of put a bump here and see if I like it smaller like that. But I think it needs to be bigger so it'll go from here all the way through across to here and then the bump will be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fix that and get it how I like it and then I will show you uh, the finished product and what I end up liking. You can see it's just one screw in there and that holds it in solid but I'm just going to leave this on for now and then I will work on kind of fixing uh, that and see if I even can get it to a point where I like it. 
So here you can see I've kind of made the second version that I like a little bit better. These are the old ones that I had on there and you can see they're wider here. And then if I compare these two, you can see if I line them up right here, it'd be better if this one was on top. You can see the bump is right here and that doesn't really go with the body lines, but right here it does because it lines up where that fog light pops out. So this fits the car much better. Then it also doesn't stick out as far, so it's a little bit sleeker, which looks better in my opinion. So I think this is the final design I will be going with. And then I'm probably going to just put it in with two self-tapping screws. And this is the one where I will put on my car for a little bit. And then if I get enough interest in it, I would consider uh, selling these, but you can see this is what it looks like and it probably will need multiple screws I'm probably going to put one there and then one there and that should keep it up tight to the car and then also if i don't like how this sits like right there this end piece i might get a heat gun and bend that up a little bit just because i think it might look better but we will see so i'm going to go ahead and get the holes drilled and then uh, get these put on so here is the final version put on the car. I'm still not 100% if I like it or not. It does match the other arrow for the most part, unless I were to make it way more aggressive and kind of have it straight out and then line up with this and have like a flap on the side, which might be something I would consider later on, which I'll make a video on that if I do. But right now I just want to try uh, to see what it looks like just with a more sleek design like this. It just kind of matches the body line to the front of the car since it's so rounded but it also kind of breaks it up a bit i'm not sure i just put it in with two self-tapping screws and it's pretty solid it will move the whole bumper with it so i wouldn't be worried about it coming off or anything whether or not it's functional i doubt it just because i don't you gotta have it at a certain angle and stuff for canards to actually be functional and it's on a plastic bumper but uh, the chassis mounted splitter should be somewhat functional from what I can tell. But that's what they look like. I'm probably going to post it on the ST Facebook groups and see if anyone is interested in buying them. I can't really tell if it looks good or not. I mean, I think it looks okay. But I don't really know what else it needs to be perfect. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Nick Jernap, the same as my channel name. And I will see you in the next video.